Hello. In this video, we will demonstrate how to complete the Field Level Hazard Assessment, or FLHA, form, which is used in all EET labs. After watching this video, you will be able to describe the requirements for completing the FLHA form. Before you start completing your Field Level Hazard Assessment form, or FLHA, make sure that you have selected one member of your group to lead the FLHA process. To begin, you need to enter your workstation number. This number will also correspond with the number on your LabVolt Council. Next, fill in the current date. This is the date that you are starting your lab. Record the names of your instructors. For the work you are going to complete, enter the lab number and name. Enter the course code and also the room number of the lab you are working in. The next thing you will need to do is identify and record the tasks you will need to perform in order to complete the lab. Remember, to help you identify the tasks, read your lab objectives and procedures, as well as listen to any instructions from your instructors. Also, remember to include any setup and cleanup activities as part of the tasks. As an example, for one of the tasks, the lab old council needs to be moved to the workstation to complete the lab. Identify the hazards associated with each task. Trip, crush, pinch, these are hazards identified when moving the lab old council. Enter the plans to eliminate or control the hazard. In this example, the hazard will be controlled by using administrative and PPE methods of control. Another example of a task is to plug the lab old council into the workstation. The hazards associated with this task are shock and or arc flash. Under plans to eliminate the hazard, inspect the power cable and ensure the three-phase switch is off. These are both administrative types of control. Safety glasses and safety footwear are PPE control. Any other tasks required can be identified and recorded. Make sure both lab partners understand and sign the field level hazard assessment form. Have your instructor review your FLHA. Your instructor will keep one file on copy and you must keep a copy in case you are asked to present it in an audit. After the FLHA is complete, you can start your lab experiment.